so we've got Aroma Home R20 High. It's a two berth camper van with four belted seats and it's just under five meters long. So the Roma Home R20, it's on a Citroen chassis. This one's a 2012 and uh, it's done just around about 45,000 miles. Um, it's a five speed gearbox with a CD radio. We've got air conditioning in the front. Um, it's 2,200 kilograms and it's a 1.6 diesel engine. Now the cam belt on this should be changed every 10 years or 100,000 miles. Right, so let's work our way around the R20. So first thing we come to is our hookup, um, which we've plugged in. So now we've got 230 coming into the van. And then our vents for our fridge. And then obviously this is the habitation door for going inside the van and we'll go inside in a second. And then here we have our gas, which I'll just switch on. Now just below the gas locker, you will see just underneath, this is our waste tank. Now to drain that down, we just turn and that empties the waste tank. And this is a diesel heater in the van for the heating. That's the flue for the diesel heater. Now there isn't a drain off for the fresh water tank. So you would have to run the water all the way through the taps and then into the waste tank to drain down the fresh water tank. Um, what we have here is our diesel. And then just here, we have our fresh water filler for filling up the fresh water tank. So now we'll go have a look inside. Oh, when you're filling the fresh water tank up, make sure you don't overfill the fresh water tank. There is a level on inside, which I will show you when we get inside. Make sure you never fill it above that level on the fresh water tank. Right, so we've got the habitation door. Um, what we also got, we have got an opening window on the habitation door. And then we'll have a look inside. So if I start from the back, we do have storage above. And then what we've got then is we've basically got the two bench seats. So we can make a couple of configurations up inside the, the Roma home. So what we've got here is we've got, we've made up a little dinette area. So we've got that here and then we've got our table, which we can take out. And our leg. And then, and then we make up the table. <laughs> and then we make up our table. I'm just clicking into the rods. So now we've got a little dinette area here. We can also do it on the other side, make a dinette area up by taking the cushions off. And we take this out like that. And we do have another little dinette area. The only difference is, is we can't have the table on like we can on the other side. Now the importance of having these like this is just let me show you. So what that gives us as well now, I'll just take this out so you can see, is it gives us another traveling seat with the seat belt and also we have the other option on the other side. Now you would tend to use this side more because obviously of having the dinette, but it do, does give you the option of obviously, obviously having four traveling people. So if 
we take our table up, I'll just put that back in there. Which is a good little slot really for putting the table, just put it out the way. So now we can turn this dinette area, just like the other one. And then if I slot one of the cushions in and another one, we've now got two bench seats. And these bench seats as well can be made up into single beds. And I'll show you how we do them. And then we can knock this chair down. And then we have got the curtains that do slide across. And I'll just take that out. Now I don't know if you can see this side. Yeah. Take the clasp off. That drops down. And then I'll get another cushion. So there's another cushion. And we've now got a single bed. With which we can do exactly the same on the other side by just dropping down the seat and doing the same. As well as having two single beds, we can also make it into a double bed, which is a little bit like this. That's oh, okay. So we'll drop down this seat, we'll do the same again, drop this down, we'll put our board across, and now what we've got to do is fill the, fill the middle in, so we'll get our sections out and then I don't know if you can see there we have got a little groove so we can put on it on that side and we slot it in that side we've got another one there and there another one there and there and then we have another one here another one there and we still haven't finished yet then we take out our little table with which sits there so now we've got to put the cushions in um, to make up the double bed So now, we we'll cushion there. Put the other cushions from up here. Another cushion. Now, another cushion. We we'll slot that and that. Like that and there. And now we have a double bed. So for such a small little camper van, this Rome Rome gives you lots of options. You've got a dinette you can make up on one side, another dinette on the other side, obviously without the table. We can have two single beds and we can also make up a double bed. So it packs quite a punch, the little Rome Rome does. Now we're back to living area. I'll just show you what's along this bench seat side on the driver's side. So we have plenty of storage under both the seats. And then you're getting the same again under the third. Now what I didn't show you, you've got a winder here. And I'll just quickly take you outside just to show you. 
because we have got steadies on the back. Right, so we've got back to living area again. Um, what we'll do, I'll actually, I've shown you underneath that side, I'll show you what we've got underneath um, these two seats and then we can work our way to the back and have a look at the different appliances. So let's move this table. Um, put that into there. And we can put that into there. So we'll start off with the first one. I'll move that one out. So our fresh water filler outside, here is our fresh water tank. And then when I was saying to you about a maximum fill line, if we just have a look down there, there's our maximum fill line. And now I'll show you underneath this bench. I'll lift this up. And what we have underneath here is leisure battery. We have our fuses. We also have an isolation switch as well. And then we also do have our battery charger. So we have when we have the hookup in, um, that's automatically um, trickle charging the leisure battery. And then just below here, we do have our Abispatch heater. Just there. So what we have got, we've got the uh, windows either side. Basically, here the click, that's one setting. Two, that brings them back down. And then we've got fly screens and blinds. And then above us, we do have the skylight, again with blinds and fly screens. The skylight does, it's quite good really because it lets a lot of light into the van. Right, so let's have a look at the kitchen. What we've got, extra bit of storage. These drop down and then we have a little support there which slots in really nice in here. And then we've got the same on the other side. So there we go. Two good side, two well, it really just makes it a lot, a lot more to work with. And then we'll work ourselves here up to the back where we've got the control panel. So we have our battery select, so caravan for leisure battery. We have our pump, we have our lights, and then our auxiliary. And then we have our 12 volt fuses here as well. So um, we fill the fresh water tank as you saw earlier. And we have got a submersible pump in there, so we have switched the pump on. Now don't forget, this is just cold only. And there's our water coming through our cold feed. And then to empty it, we can just lift up. And it drains down the back. I'll just take that out for you. And you can see there's the drain gully there for the water to drain down into the fresh water tank. And the wastewater tank. So below our sink, what we've got, we've got a storage area here. Now that's more for the porta potties. It's a good area there for the porta potties. So that's where you'd store your porta potty. And then we'll move on to the other side. We've got a bit of storage above. If you knives some forks. And then we've got a two burner hob. So I put the gas on earlier. There we go. Two hobs there. And then below we have a grill. There's our grill lit. And then below the grill, what we do have, oh, before I carry on, 
What we have here is our isolation points. Now that isolates the gas to the hobs. This one isolates to the grill and the bottom one, the snowflake, isolates to the fridge. So we've got our three-way fridge here. So the first one is for 230. The next one is for leisure battery. So that'll only work when the vehicle's, uh, you're driving the vehicle. And then the bottom one we have for the gas. So we put the gas on, we hold in, press the igniter, And that's lit, as you can see, going up into the green. And then I'll take my finger off, and now we're lit on the gas. And then next to this here, we do have our switch for a fridge. So this must be switched on with a hookup in before the fridge will work on the electric. So if I turn that off now, the fridge will not work on the electric. And then the last thing I need to show you then is our heating system, which is the Abbaspatch heating. Right, so we have our main plug socket here, and then just above the socket, we have our Abbaspatch. That's telling us it's 12 degrees inside the van. So we'll switch the heating on. So it's switched on. And then I've set it, see if you can see there, I've set it at 25. Now, if you can set the settings up or down, to whatever temperature you want and then if you just want to use the heater without any just use the fan sorry without any heating there's your option for just using the fan so what will happen now is it'll st it'll start to engage and then the other spatter will start to heat up the van so the Roma Rome R20 high um, it packs a hell of a lot in for a micro camper. Don't forget it's under five meters so you could use it for everyday use and also going away camping. It gives you great options as well because you've got the two bench seats, you can make them into dinettes, you can make a double bed up. So you've got lots of different options and layouts that you can have inside the Roma home. We've got um, our heating as well off the diesel heater. We've also got a hob and a grill and a three-way fridge. Um, we've got our lighting. It is also fitted with a, a TV aerial um, and the aerial points are just above the cab here. So you can watch your TV if you want to. But yeah, Roma Home R20. Great little micro compact camper.